I was afforded the unique opportunity to augment my everyday carry loadout with one of the new droids. Now this isn't the Droid X, it's the original droid, but uh, really if you see what I've been carrying, which is a basic point-to-point -point voice and text only, it can do images but who cares, to uh, one of these new handheld PC style phones. It was a really neat opportunity to try and see what I could do with a handheld computing device. So uh, I'm going to run through uh, my uh, experience. I had about a month with it. Uh, it was a lot of fun, uh, a lot of frustration too. Uh, let's go through it. Uh, going through with the apps, uh, I've tried a couple apps. You can see some on the screen. Uh, played with Forecast Roid uh, right here. The forecast is neat, gets your local weather, wind conditions, barometric pressure, all of the good things that you need for ballistic calculations. That's nice. Altitude Free, another nice app. I really liked it. Gets your rough estimate of your altitude within about 100 feet. Really good if you're calculating ballistics. And then uh, another app, Ballistics. I'll get into that later. Uh, that was a lot of fun. If you've ever used Horndy's software, it's basically the same as the Horndy software, except now you have it on your phone. This is uh, the forecast, nothing special. Uh, I use this to get barometric pressure and relative humidity. Also wind speed, sunrise and sunset. This is altitude free. Uh, if you let it run, let run long enough and you let the app have access to your GPS hardware, um, it will give you your relative altitude based on uh, your GPS coordinates, and then there's also GIS, topographical map information. Uh, the table on the right takes the GIS data. The table on the left gives you rough GPS altitude. Altitude's important. Write that down. So you wrote all the uh, weather environmental data down, and now you're going to go into your ballistics calculator. Uh, you better know your drag coefficient and your muzzle velocity from field tests. You enter your sight height, now I put in a, ra a range of 692, it's kind of fuzzy, you can't read it. Anyway, I put my target range in there, wind speed of 10, my zero range is 100. Now I wrote down the barometric pressure relative humidity uh, from the weather, put those in there. Wind speed from the weather, put those in there. Temperature from the weather, put those in there. Hit compute, and that's as fast as it goes. Now. Uh, that's my MOA come ups. I don't know if you can read that. That's 25.67 MOA. So my range finder told me that my target's at 692. And this gave me a solution of 25.6 MOA up. Uh, there's also point blank range calculations, which you wouldn't need this for if you had PBR calculated. And then here's your ballistic drop table. This is really neat to have in the field. However, if you're a good Boy Scout, you've already done all that using a free software on the web. So basically, this is what a dope sheet looks like. Uh, these are for different loads, different zeros. Uh, but this data is invaluable when you're out shooting. And that's exactly what you have here. So if you need to make quick calculations and you don't have uh, your software with you, this is a great way to go. Uh, it is uh, hard to enter data into it and it's easier to do all the math when you're sitting down and you're relaxed. But you're going to put all that information in just the same. The data looks the same and it comes out the same. Really neat function. Uh, I consider it a nice to have and it definitely would not be uh, something that would make me buy a phone because I already have a PDA that I use this for, but uh, it's neat to have. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.